Veteran receivers like DeAndre and uh, Calvin, and, and I know it's not official yet, but the guy who's joining soon, how much can that help a young quarterback who's going into his second season as the starter? Oh, it helps a great deal because with veteran receivers who have been in the league a long time, they're used to game uh, type situations. They're good to, they're used to coverages, different coverages, used to seeing different defenses and how they react to them. And, and I think a veteran receiver who knows where he's going is the quarterback's best friend. So the quarterback can expect a certain guy to be at a certain place at a certain time, and vets know how to do that, how to get there. Whereas you have more young guys, more rookies coming up, second year guys, you know, still trying to figure that out. Veteran guys have quote unquote been there, done that. So I think it'd be easier for the quarterback. Has it been nice since, I mean, since you've been hired that the wide receiver room has taken a couple of nice big yeah. jumps up. Has it been nice for you? Yeah, it's been good. I think. Anywhere you go, you know, you can never have enough good players. Um, so anytime you get enough good players in, into a system, um, it helps everybody. Um, we'll have different packages for everybody to move different guys around. And uh, so they'll be in this offense, it's a very wide receiver friendly offense. So uh, looking forward to coaching all those guys. What do you think about what are some of the things you preach uh, to them right out of the gate? Um, as a whole, I think, again, the, the experience we have, the knowledge the guys have in, the, in there, I think they're. They've been really receptive to the coaching. Um, you know, as the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but them teach these old dogs new tricks. Uh, I don't want to call them old, but you know, I, it's tongue in cheek. But uh, but those guys are really receptive to the coaching and the styles uh, that I teach and the techniques that I teach. Because I'm a, I'm really big on teaching technique as far as route technique, getting open. You know, there are a lot of guys who run four or three they're on the couch because they can't get open. But I like to be able to teach route technique. So you can get open on any different coverage, not just being a fast guy. Now, if you have a fast guy who has technique, that's even great. You know, that's, that's better. So I like to teach the technique, and these guys are really taken to how I teach things. A lot of attention around here on Traylon Burke since he's a former first-round pick. I wonder what's on Traylon and then kind of what, what lies ahead. For really impressed with Traylon up to this point. You know, you hear things when you come into a new situation about guys and what happened with the past and all that stuff, and I told all those guys, you know, we're – got a fresh set of eyes on you and Traylon has done everything and more the best for him. Traylon is a guy that this offseason, you know, he's he's probably the only guy I think, maybe one other guy on my team from a receiver standpoint, he's the only guy that's played three positions. I'm forcing him to learn all the positions, all the concepts, because you never know where he can line up. He can be outside, he can be inside. So he's really taken you know, a hold of that. He studies at night. He asks me questions. Um, he, he's really good. Um, he's been, I'm really surprised or pleased, not that it's surprised, pleased with his progress. He's getting better every day. Every day we've been out here, he's done something and gotten better every single day. I like his explosion. He's got really good ball skills. And again, he's learning all three positions. So I'm looking forward to continuing to work with him and see how he can help us in the fall. Based on his skill set, what, what in your mind is the best version of Traylon? How do you get the best version of him out on the field? Well, again, that's a work in progress. And I've only been around a couple weeks right now. But being able for him to play outside and inside, he's really strong. When, he, when he's running a route and he cuts, pieces of the turf comes up out of the ground. So his, he's got a powerful plant when he plants and separates. So that's good. And like I mentioned, his ball skill is really good. So um, I didn't really know how well it was until I got here and saw it in person. But uh, I just remember, again, all the things you, you hear about a certain guy when you come in. You know, I sat him down and said, look, you're the same guy. We brought him in for a 30 visit when I was in Chicago. So I said, you're the same guy who I saw kill Alabama DBs, kill LSU DBs. You know, so in the NFL, guess who you're playing against? The Alabama DBs, the LSU DBs. So you got to continue to be you, get better and control what you can control. And uh, he's been doing that, you know, taking him to coaching, and he's getting better every day. As a coach, taking in, in three of the guys like Burks, what a, what a foursome that might be. Is yeah, yeah, I, I think, I think, I think that's all going to show itself in due time. But Burks is doing exactly what we like him to do right now. Again, and I think he's doing more than that. So I, I think I'm really excited what I see from him and all the guys. All the guys are working really, really hard. Um, they're studying stuff away from the building, even though it's not mandatory, you know, it's voluntary, but they're still studying away from the building. They're coming in with questions and everything. So I'm really pleased with the guys and how they've taken everything. There were a couple interesting wide receivers at his pro day at Tulane. What was it about him and like the skill set he brings that made you say, this is the guy we want? 
Nice. Well, like you said, there's a lot of different options on the board, whatever, but we're very pleased when we got Jaquan. Um, he has a, a speed element, you know, we wanted to get faster with this room and, and, and he's one of the guys who drafted that has a speed element. Uh, he has some return ability, you know, pump return, kick return, whatever. Um, and just with the ball in his hands, he makes a lot of plays. And he'll be able to do a lot of things for us, whether it's, you know, in a slot, maybe we can do some things with him on, on some, some gadget stuff, on some speed sweeps and stuff, because when the ball in his hands, he's really good with it. So uh, we need those kind of guys. I, I don't, I don't want to say that right now um, because we got to get him in here and see how he can learn. See, you know, I coached Steve Smith in, 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 in Carolina. I'm not trying to compare the two, but he was a smaller guy, stronger guy. So and he played outside. So it didn't, you know, it depends on the package we have and what plays we have, you know, where we can fit guys. Coach, on trailing, is it just held him back or is there more to it than that? Uh, to my knowledge, that's what it is. Again, I hadn't been here, but coming here, I don't know if you hear earlier when I was talking about Trey. No, Trey was, was doing everything we asked him to do up to this point. So I'm not sure if any other things that's holding him back. Uh, I know it was some injuries, but uh, as of right now, he's doing everything. He's healthy, and I'm excited about it. I really am. What have you seen from uh, from Calvin? And just kind of Calvin, everything is full speed with Calvin. You have to tell him to slow down. Uh, his route technique is, is really, really good. That's one of the things I liked about him when he's studying him and, and planning for free agency. You know, he was like the top guy in my eyes. Uh, the way he runs routes, come out of his breaks, he gets cut and separate. You know, my dad just tells somebody, you know, you can cut on a dime and give you nine cents change, and that's what he does. Uh, but he's a really good route runner, uh, run after the catch guy, speed down the field. Um, very, I'm really, really excited about having Calvin here. When he came up here for his press conference, he talked almost like he had some, not only something to prove, given kind of what he's come back from, but also that he's worth the contract that he has. Does he come out here like that? No question. No question. You, you think this is his contract year, the way he practiced. Yeah. Like, he's up for his contract. He just got one. So um, that's how you like to see those veteran guys come out and practice. What does that say about him? Coming from the school he came from, Alabama, there's always competition, always good players and everything. So he always had to come out and be his best and play his best and practice his best to be able to compete. I think it's just in him to do that throughout his pro career. That's my opinion. You look at you know your track record, record excuse me, it's proof of guys that, that you're Well, non-negotiable, everything's negotiable in the NFL, first of all. Um, but. The thing I stress on guys is really being a team player, you know, and, and I really emphasize blocking in the run game. I, everywhere I've been, I've always emphasized that. Um, I told people 100 years ago when I played at LSU, I was a wide blocker, I wasn't a wide receiver. So I kind of, you know, that's how I take pride in, in blocking. And when guys go out and block for their teammates, that shows an unselfishness. You know, everybody has a chance to be a tendency, a tendency to be selfish in the NFL, especially from a receiver standpoint. We all want the ball, right. and and I tell guys, you know, to me, you know, when the guys have, say, we play a game, have 65 plays, they have five catches for 120 yards and two touchdowns. That's great. What are you doing the other 60 plays? That's what I'm looking at. You know, so those guys, all of them are here in the NFL on our level because they made plays in college. Okay, I want you to make plays. And I tell them all the time, be the best player on the field with and without the ball. Emphasizing without the ball because they're going to make plays with the ball. Right. And being able to block for the running backs down the field or, or another, receiver, another receiver catch the ball, turn block the man curbing you, I stretch that a lot. We, I, great. You know, he's, he, we have you know, our run periods. Whenever guys running the ball, he's, turn, he's going running down the field. As a matter of fact, he's probably hustling down the field more than anybody at this point in time. When you see him running down the field, when the running back's running the ball, he's probably the one guy who's running more than anybody. So I think Coach Callahan mentioned to you guys all the yardage he clipped the other day, mm -hmm. how fast he was. I mean, he's practicing hard. Again, he's going above and beyond and doing everything we asked him to do at this point. Rand said that when Calvin was working with from around the league, when they looked at him previously, that a lot of guys were stealing his tricks and tips and stuff. Are you getting a sense that that's going on out, out here? Uh... I wouldn't say that at this point, but in the game of football, we all steal from everybody. Whether it's route techniques, whether it's plays, whether it's schemes, we steal from everybody. Nobody invented this stuff. So um, it doesn't surprise me that Rand would say that. Uh, I haven't seen anybody, quote unquote, stealing anybody's moves or anything yet. They're all trying to learn the system first and learn to do it the way that I like to teach it. And uh, that could probably come up at some point in time. And I say steal, it's nobody's 
nobody owns anything so you know they'll talk to guys say hey man tell me about this how you do this or how you do that and they're talking and communicating things like that but as far as quote unquote stealing out of you know that's a that's a that's a big word to yeah. steal yeah. no intellectual <laughs> problem Thank I, you. I, some things you do to, to get to know the person on top of knowing the player and the skill set say it again it, to get to know the person mm -hmm. on top of the player and skill set what are some things you do to get to know them uh, I, in the first meeting we had, we, we, we didn't talk about football. We talked about just everybody's family, where they're from, you know, how they got here, the path, you know, the, you know, kids, whatever. You know, you have to get to know personal individual. You know, those saying um, uh, they don't know how much they don't want to know, don't want to know how much you, you know unless you know how much they care or that you care. Yeah. Uh, and, and I try to get a personal relationship with all my players because they're all my guys, you know. I tell guys all the time in college, you may have 10 or 12 guys on scholarship, they're all in. And right now we have nine or 10 guys. They're all my guys. Now, will we keep them all? No, we can't yeah. keep them all. But my job is to make sure that I coach them the best I can. So by the end of the day, they'll have a job, whether it's here or another team. So I think um, that's always how I approach that. And a lot has talked about with Traylon on the field, but what's that relationship that you have with him as a, as a human? Uh, just just talking about family stuff. You know, he's married now. They have a baby on the way. Um, and we talk about little family stuff every now and again. Um, but I hadn't spent very much time with anybody off the field, per se, since I've been here. But uh, just times in between meetings, times in the lunchroom, whatever. Just getting to know people as people. Mm -hmm. um, but all the guys have been, been really great and really receptive to, to everything that I've been doing and, and everything, you know, and I'm receptive to them. It's some things they may say, okay, you know, we tried like this, we did like this, and I said, okay, just show me, you know. It's open communication with everybody right now.